What's going on YouTube? Got a ab video for you today. Um, just showing you my current routine. Well, I guess you can't really say current routine. I'm always trying to change up my workout every single time. I don't think I've ever really done the same workout twice in the past several years um, that I've been lifting. Um, but today I did some abs. I am uh, in a spin studio <sighs> cycling right now. I'm just going to do some uh, steady state cardio here for a little bit. The month of December I'm trying to lean out just a little bit. Um, I've worked really hard to gain some weight. Granted it's not all been uh, good weight, um, but I'm at 172 right now and according to the skin calipers, the pinchers um, that I did on myself uh, several days ago, I'm just under 8% um, fat, which I feel like I don't look like I'm under 8%. I feel like I'm more in like nine and a half, ten. But yeah, just uh, trying to be a little bit more cautious of my calories this month. Um, just setting some good habits for the new year. Um, and that's something I'll probably talk about here in this uh, in this, these clips that you're going to see coming up. Um, I will say, preface it by saying that uh, I was experimenting a little bit with some stuff. I'm having some issues with my right shoulder. Um, it's almost like I can't seem to lock it back into place as much as I need to, to be able to press forward without uh, my scapula depressing and moving forward. And I've been having some shoulder pain, so I'm just trying to be cautious about that, but I want even ab development. I'm a, I'm a stickler when it comes to just proportion and symmetry. And you know, I don't want, because it's easy for the left side of my abs to start building up as opposed to the right side because I have some imbalances and my skeletal structure's a little screwed up, which everybody's a little bit different and everybody's gonna have that a little bit. But um, yeah, so uh, here's the abs clips. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, make sure to support this channel and uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check us out on Facebook. I am the founder, the CEO, the president of ES Fitness, and uh, I love what I do. And uh, anything I can do to help you guys, I'm here. I'm here for it. So uh, try to practice what you preach, and that's why I'm here late at night on a bicycle, and I'm not even good at. It. So, all right, guys, enjoy the clips. All right. So, like I said, uh, I did. I did. Um, have some issues with my shoulder blade and it was just giving me um, problems with my shoulder and this is a perfect example of where that was happening even within my first exercise this is my fourth set of these decline crunches I had to switch over to a dumbbell and hold the weight close to my body so I didn't have weight extended out because that was hurting my shoulder by this time to the point where I wasn't really even affecting the abs like I wanted to so um, just changed it up a little bit that's, that's something you always got to keep in mind. If something's hurting or something's bothering you, see if there's another way to change the exercise um, and still get the same effect. So I switched over to a 45-pound dumbbell, and as I got tired and it started, um, it actually started hurting my lower back having it so high up uh, my chest. So I lowered it like you saw and then dropped it and burnt out. And it was a successful first exercise, <laughs> which I definitely cannot say about this one. This was not successful. Um, I guess it's just a side crunch or a side rate. I don't know um, what people call it. It's not something I have in my routine, and I haven't done this exercise in probably at least at least eight or nine months. Um, but instead of just standing um, with my feet together in the in the plate, um, hanging by my side and just crunching directly to the side, I staggered my feet a little bit, raised my arm up to stretch out those obliques, and as I crunch, you can kind of see I'm rotating just a little bit. Some reps are better than others. Like I said, I don't practice this exercise very much because it doesn't seem to hit the area of the obliques and just the abs in general that I really um, would like it to. Um, it ends up really just uh, hurting my lower back and um, it's just not one of my favorites. I, I feel like there's other exercises um, that I can perform that give me 
the same feeling that this would, um, but it's just more effective for me. So, and that's another thing is, you know, if you're new to the gym, don't, f if something just doesn't feel like it's affecting the area that you're trying to, if you're trying to work your abs and you feel your lower back hurting, don't keep going because, because you think that's the only thing you can do for that. It's all about just hinging the joints um, by flexing the muscles to do so. Um, and I'll get, and there's, there's other videos that I have and I'll get into a greater detail um, on just the, the mechanics of the body and why and how to be creative. Um, but like I said, not a fun exercise and so I just cut it short and moved on. And then once again, my shoulder started getting a little ticked off um, from those hanging leg raises. So I just switched over to what this what this is, and this is the, called the captain's chair, and it, it worked a lot better for me. I was able to control my breathing and get my body in sync and into a nice tempo and did several sets of that, and um, then I started getting creative again. I've seen plenty of variations of this exercise, but if you look over to the right, I have quite a bit of weight on this weight stack, so you can see... Um, uh, I'm adjusting my position a lot because this is something that I'm just kind of experimenting with. Um, but you can see my arms kind of wobbling. And that's just because there's a lot of weight. So there's a lot of stability going on. So I could feel this in my back too. So just total core. But obviously as you're crunching, it's affecting the abs the most. Um, if you guys want to try that exercise, what I found to be most effective, which I didn't record the set, um, but I had my feet together and had a bend in my knees. So feel free to give that one a shot, guys. Then just into your standard cable crunch, except I was doing one hand at a time. And um, I'm pushing in on the abs where I'm, I want to be flexing and you know breaking that part of the abs down the most. So that's what I'm trying to work out at this particular moment. Pulling with my left arm, I'm trying to hit the left side. Um, of the six-pack muscles, the rectus abdominis, and then also the obliques. So then I switched over to the right side um, and did some of that, and then um, moved on to just burning out with just both hands. This is probably one of my top three, if not just the very first favorite ab exercise. Currently, I get a really good squeeze um, with that, but... Here you go, leg press, something something unique. This was really, really working on overall core stability and um, lower abs. Notice where my body is hinging as I push that plate forward. Um, it, it's crunching in the lower abs, so that's where I was getting most of the work done. I think I had 80 pounds on here or something, and 15 reps became very difficult. But... Uh, but then once again trying to stay as creative as possible and I was towards the end of the workout and I was right next to this machine so hey come over to the seated hamstring curl um, and set that um, that piece to where I could put my arms over and it was actually pretty good although I wish I could crunch a little bit lower but guys thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel please uh, Give, give this video a like if you found anything helpful in this. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. Um, I'm going to try to be posting more often as we go into the new year for 2015. And I uh, just I really appreciate all the feedback. And I will see you in the next video.